Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here. And today, I bring you guys what many of you guys would consider to be some very good news. It, unfortunately for that same group of players, is more than likely going to lead to some very bad news in the future. And what am I talking about? Well, there's this fella over on the World of Worship subreddit called Ant5. And what he did was compile some data for us from patches 13.1 and 13.2 with regards to submarine performance. How did he get this? Well, there's a method that I don't fully understand because I just like watching the funny pixels on the screen. I don't get too much into like coding or whatever you, this would be considered. Uh, he pulled the data from the API, which is the, um, from my understanding, the coding method that's used to send bots into the wargaming um, client, I'm sorry, the World, the World, World of Warships client and collect data from the game. So it's the only real way you can get data from World of Warships because wargaming typically doesn't share data too often. They just kind of keep it all behind closed doors. Same thing we, is what we have to do with the player numbers when we talk about that and such. So it, they are legit numbers, or at least the most legit numbers we can go off of. But anyway, please make sure to head over to the subreddit and give his post an upvote and all that jazz. Whatever the Reddit versions of, you know, just liking his post are. But anyway, let's take a look at what he has found for us. So what did he do? He did a couple of data pulls from patch 13.1, I believe just before update 13.1, and then just before 13.2, and then finally two weeks into 13.2 this past Monday and compared the changes in submarine performance. So, um, if you look at the chart on screen right now, it is a hefty hit to sub performance across the board with the exception of XP. So if you look at the damage, most of the submarines are down about 10% overall in terms of their average damage done. And some of them are down, you know, 12, almost 13%. The Bilal, the uh, U69, the Cachalot, that's a big, big tick down in average damage done. If you look at the kills too, it's even heavier there on the average kills. Most of them are down around 15-ish percent. Some of them are almost down, or well, some of them are down 20% when it comes to the amount, uh, amount of average kills that they're getting, which is, yeah, that's not a small change. Now, base XP hasn't really shifted too much because submarines earn XP through all, many different ways, usually spotting, just like destroyers. So, obviously, if you have a very stealthy class that can't be spotted from you know two kilometers out uh, yeah you're going to be getting a ton of spotting damage done that way so this means that in the future there are probably going to be quite a bit of buffs to subs how far in the future well who knows Wargaming typically likes to let changes nowadays sit for about a patch or two before they bring in another round of changes. Sometimes it's a hell of a lot longer, like the ship you're seeing in the background, Thunder, it took them an eternity to adjust Thunder to where it wasn't so crazy. But with a hot button issue like submarines, they may act a little bit faster. They may even be more hesitant to act right now because of obviously the nature of submarines and how there is either, I haven't figured it out just yet. It's either a very loud, medium size chunk of the player, ba player base or a very large chunk of the player base that just despises subs outright. But as you can see, their performance has been majorly impacted by this update. He even notes in his post that the Gato, the king of shotgunning, hasn't even been near as effective as it used to be. It's dropped even more than what you see here in the tables, but it's also because there's nowhere near as many players playing Gato anymore. Probably because its whole thing was shotgunning, and now that shotgunning has been nerfed pretty hard, um, yeah, it's not being played near as much because of that. Now, why would Wargaming buff subs? Well, if you are playing submarines, and or think about playing any class, and it gets nerfed so hard that you face a you know anywhere from a 12 
to a 10% drop in your average damage and a 20% drop in the amount of kills that you are getting. That typically means you aren't really having a fantastic time. So what is probably going to happen is the amount of players playing submarines is going to start to drop significantly. Like he even notes, the games for the Gato have already started to drop off by quite a big chunk. So going forward, we know that Wargaming, because they've said this in the past, and granted it may not be true today, but it um, we've seen some signs that it had that that it is. They do buff ships that aren't popular enough to the point of being broken. And on the flip side too, when they do get too popular, they just outright remove them from the game. So um, I guess you can cling to that for hope, but I, I, I highly doubt that because it's a, complete, a completely different situation that we're talking about now. But yes, if a ship does drop in popularity, Wargaming will just keep buffing it to increase its popularity. And then when it gets back up to... I guess they're acceptable levels, they will kind of crank it back a little bit. So again, with what we're seeing here, we're probably going to be getting some more submarine buffs in the future. What type of buffs might they be? Well, what's really interesting here is that submarines got an on paper, what, 20-ish percent damage buff? Yet their damage has still fallen on average by about 10% across the board. So that's kind of nuts if you think about it. Now, granted, obviously there are ships that only have homing torpedoes, and that 20% damage buff was uh, applied to the dummy guided, uh, dummy guided, the, the, the dummy fired torpedoes, the unguided torpedoes. So there is that for sure. I mean, if you look at the ships that do rely mostly on homing, um, or ships that would be firing torpedoes from further back, like the British submarines, they actually have eaten the smallest amount of this pain in comparison to the American or the german ships but even the ships that do rely on homing they've seen a pretty big you know beat down on their average damage done uh the cash shot the u69 those lower level submarines that only have to homing torpedoes obviously with the ping changes and the five kilometer i'm sorry the uh, three kilometer arming range it's a pretty big nerf to them as well especially at lower tier when they have the shorter ranges so yeah, it's pretty rough right now, right? But yeah, you know, again, you got 20% damage buff to your unguided torpedoes, but yet the damage is still falling off by about 10%. So that obviously means that 3km arming range that's been added to subs now did quite a bit more than what the comment section of many a video and many a post would have you believe. So going forward, they could maybe dial that back, maybe make it a 2.5km arming range, or they could buff the torpedoes in another way, maybe give them a faster uh, run speed, uh, maybe even just outright buff the damage even more. But how much would they have to buff it? I mean, think about it. Again, these torpedoes got buffed by 20% if you take the module and the outright damage buff, and they're still down 10%. So <laughs> if you math... Like, what, will you give them a 50% damage buff now to where you have, like, nuclear torpedoes? Torpedoes with, like, a 35-40k alpha? Because if you go any other way, then you're just undoing the change that needed to happen to try and mitigate shotgunning, and you you just be back in square one. So, yeah, I don't know the answer, because submarines are an entirely wildly different class in the game. I mean, destroyers, cruisers battleships hell even carriers are a hell of a lot more in line with the game's design than submarines because they all still operate on the surface at least right like yeah carrier players are in planes a good chunk of the of the match but you can still go find the carrier right you can still shoot it when it is spotted submarines you spot it if it's outside of your asw range you can't really do anything with it even if it's inside your ASW range, you are just, you know, calling some planes to drop some bombs on the sucker. You you, you, you yourself aren't controlling the planes like they're CV planes, and you're not able to, you know, kind of aim where the bombs are going to fall at exactly, right? So, they're just a very awkward class to interact with, and I don't know what the answer to them is. 
obviously, I mean, you're probably just typing right now, remove him from the game! That's obviously not going to happen. Wargaming is way too invested in them at this point. And there are players that do enjoy playing submarines as part of the game. There's a pretty good argument that, hey, you know, you got to keep the game fresh and alive somehow, and adding in new classes and new ships is how you do this. But, yeah. So, I was wondering what effect the changes were going to have on submarines, and I was trying to gauge them by the comments, but like I've talked about before, you have comments saying nothing's changed, you have comments saying they're useless now, you have commenters saying they're better now, but now that we have some data, we can see they have been negatively impacted by the changes. And a part, part of it too is just that they're just a frustrating class to run into when you do get caught out by them. If you're that lone battleship and a submarine pops up, or you don't even see them and they just nuke you out the water, obviously that's very frustrating to deal with, but from my general experiences, They've been, and even before this too, they weren't a problem until they were, right? Like, the submarine could be on the other side of the map, and he doesn't really have any impact on the game at all, and submarines really don't have much impact on the game at all just because of the nature of their playstyle. But, man, if you were that one that they decided to pick on, you know they're going to stay after you because you're the only one near them. They aren't fast enough to zip underwater, unless you're the U-4501, zip underwater to the other side of the map, right? So they're going to keep dogging you for the rest of their existence or the rest of your existence just because you're the one in range and the one that they can get at. And that's incredibly annoying. But, I mean, too, so are torpedo d destroyers, right? It's just, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is, but I do know we're probably going to be getting some more changes. I would also like to know their survival rate, if that's changed, you know, how much. I would imagine it's probably gone down. Um, I don't know, maybe not as rough as the, the damage in the frags, but I would imagine it has gone down with the new ping indicator and such. So, I wish that was included in this report as well. And who knows, maybe Wargaming will say something in the future. I would imagine if they do turn around and buff submarines, they are probably going to present some data to try and, you know, appease the player base by saying, you know, hey, look, th this is a big drop off. You know, we got to change this this way. But we shall see. Now, what is interesting, too, is that he does know that they do still have a steady game rate of about 10,000 games per subs already at this point in 13.2, so it's staying pretty consistent with the exception of the Gato. So I, I guess we'll see what happens, but guys, that is the information I have for you today. Discuss it amongst yourself in the comment section down below, and let me know what you think. Again, if you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, all that jazz. Hope you guys have a wonderful Thursday and a wonderful rest of your week. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.